one of the most abundant forms of life on Terraria. The slimes are seen by many as a nuisance, an odd being for sure, but with little importance in the grand scheme of things, good only to be used as a source of fuel. If only the truth was known to them though, if only they knew their history of turmoil and ultimate oppression, that without the slimes no life on Terraria would exist or even be capable, that the slimes are the basis for the very ecosystem and the dreaded slime reign, a mere act of nature that rejuvenates the world. Gods had begun, humanity had only as deep and challenging, different is less likely to get me horribly All creatures that exist, from the most powerful of custodians to the lowest forms of bacteria, were once as one. Raining their own blood onto the freshly born world, Terraria's overseers would seed the planet with an ambrosia of their own being, a blood fertile with potential and capable of incredible adaptation. The substance would pool on the surface, seemingly inanimate, but soon the primordial ooze would begin to move, and parts of it would crawl and sliver from the pools. Those parts that did not were eventually evaporated into the air, and rained down across the world to spread the seed even further, a process that still occurs to this very day. Through this they would migrate to the different biomes of Terraria, taking on elements of their environments, becoming almost a living embodiment of the places they dwelt. Those in cold climates would become like ice, those in hot places like sand, and those that found themselves deep underground became as the lava that surrounded them. As the primordial pools disappeared, some of the slimy beings hid away in dark caves, feeding off the moisture of the dank caverns, and splitting to create more of their own kind. Many of the beings would remain mere slimes, but others would begin to change even more, adapting not just to exist in their chosen environments, but to compete and thrive in them. From here the diversity of life on Terraria exploded. Some slimes grew legs, others wings, some developed intelligence whilst others were content to remain ignorant of their own being. When advanced enough, a few were chosen to even watch over the environments they had come to live in, a great honour bestowed by the gods themselves that made some of us jealous. But still the lowly slimes remained, continuing to change and develop as the world requires, with some even in the midst of these changes during the time of Terraria's champion, such as the spiked slime, adapting to the fierceness of a jungle, and the toxic sludge, a slime changed by the pollution of Terraria's sentient beings. They were even so resilient as to adapt to the world of the alien deities that conquered the planet. Unlike those that took on different forms or adapted to their own environments, there were some slimes that dominated all biomes with sheer size and overwhelming power, growing much larger than even the bloated mother slimes the king slimes travelled the world, devouring all in their way, even their own kind, to grow larger and learning techniques unknown to any other slime, such as the ability to break down their own body and coalesce in another place, a skill almost akin to teleportation. The titanic gelatinous masses were a scourge of many civilizations, capable of absorbing and dissolving almost anything in their corrosive bulk. That was other than one of humanity's early cultures, commanded over by a tyrant king, capable of incredible feats. Desiring to conquer all of Terraria, he looked to take control of the massive slimes to further his own cause. Through great effort and loss of life, he was able to capture several of the king's slimes and study them. He found that it may be possible to control the beings by manipulating their actions from inside. All that attempted to penetrate the slimes were painfully dissolved in the beast though. That was until one of the tyrant's highest ranking shinobi, skilled ninja warriors, was ordered to attempt it. So fast were the shinobi reflexes, so disciplined were their minds and bodies, that to observe them was almost impossible, with the warrior appearing to be in multiple places at once. Somehow these talents had allowed the warrior to survive and take control of the slime, doing as their tyrant bid. Other skilled shinobi were ordered to become one with the slimes, and soon the tyrant had an army of the beasts to wage war against his enemies with. Only the shinobi inside, once bonded to the slime, were unable to leave lest their host was killed, and slowly, despite their body remaining intact, their minds were dissolved, taken over by the beast they had once commanded. The slimes would devastate their enemies, but in time the empire, like all others, fell and the tyrant vanished. But his king slimes remained, still with the ninja bodies embedded inside them, roaming the land, consuming all they encountered as they once had. 
The slimes may be considered a lower life form, nothing more than a nuisance, but ultimately they gave birth to life as we know it, adapted to environments and events like nothing else could. And even when someone found a way to control them, they were able to outlast those who swayed their will. The slimes are not a lesser form of life, but really the ultimate expression of it. And despite what may happen to Terraria in the future, they will last to its dying day, and maybe even beyond that. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm here to say I am coming up on 10,000 subscribers and also my big 30th birthday at the end of September. So the best birthday present ever would be to hit that target. So if you're not already, I would love so much if you would subscribe for that. And if that's not enough for you, then we've got lots of stuff that I can't tell you about at the moment coming up for when we hit that target. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up with all the new videos on what's happening on channel. And other than that, I just hope you have a great day.